All right, David, let's turn it over to the lawyers and, and see what they think about points in the wider context is why are we doing all of this, right? We mm-hmm. talked about some of the benefits, civil resistance, but like we could do some of that with with tokens. Why have we kind of shifted to uh, points rather than tokens? I think there there might be a legal reason for this. We've got an article up that explains this. What what What's the take here? Yeah, th- this article title is Why DeFi Protocols Love to Offer Points Before Airdrops. And I think if you're being following along in the crypto cycle for like, you know, even like just a year now, you can definitely understand why the points meta has emerged. In addition to there are some, I I would say, strong just benefits of issuing points before tokens for projects and founders in a vacuum, as in without external influences. And I kind of named them like the temporary nature of it. It's like a. It's like a, you know, it's a pencil before a pen. You know, you get to innovate and experiment and tinker before it's you actually lock something run, in. Right? It's a, t- it's a, it's a, it's a dress a test, rehearsal. Yes, it's exactly right. It's a test net for a token. It's their token test nets, uh, which I think is great and very useful as a tool. And I think probably the bigger reason is that issuing an airdrop is politically dubious, uh, uh, legally dubious, excuse me, uh, politically in favor in the crypto <laughs> world, <laughs> legally, legally yeah. scary. Uh, and in the U.S., in specifically, in, at least in the U. N. in the yeah. United States, right? And so, what have we done? Because you know, people in crypto want tokens. We like tokens. We love playing with tokens. Tokens are fun. Uh, they come in all sorts of shapes and colors and sizes. We like to pick our favorites. Uh, we like to watch them go up and down in price. We like to mainly watch them go up in price, but mainly we like to get more tokens. Uh, and this is something that we haven't been able to do nearly as much because of the SEC, because of securities regulations. And this is, I would say, a thing. Issuing and creating tokens is not just like a feature of the crypto space. I would call it something that's like at the core of like touching the metal of what it means to be in crypto. We are removing the permissions of creating financial assets from Wall Street and from the regulators. And we, are, we have a printing press for financial assets. We can make any sort of financial asset we ever want. We can, we can mint fake tokens that we are just going to throw away to the burner wallet. We can make tokens that are named after our dog, or we can take a token and make it a cash flowing asset from a crypto protocol. We can do whatever we want. This is our superpower. Uh, this is the thing that regulators don't like. And so I think as a reaction to the heavy handedness of the SEC, being scared out of paying millions and millions of dollars of legal fees, and then also still potentially having to pay tens of million dollars of court cases, Developers, like especially United States-based developers, are just issuing points instead. And kind of as like a, a sandbox, like a test net. It's like, well, we're definitely going to issue a token. We don't know how, we don't know when, but we've learned that if we issue points instead, we get the benefits of issuing tokens, but without actually doing that. So we get TVL, we get new users, we get activity, we get trading volume. Uh, everyone else is doing it. Everyone's doing it. Uh, and so we're going to do it too. And it is a layer of protection because no one is actually issuing a financial asset. At least that's what the meta is currently. Uh, and so I, I think lawyers are probably even more happy to issue, have their founders, their protocols issue points over tokens specifically. Maybe not points in a vacuum. Maybe that's worth asking about. So a particular co-founder of a DeFi app in this one article that we're saying says, for a certain set of teams that are risk averse or in highly regulated jurisdictions, points are a way for them to sort of engage in marketing activity prior to having regulatory clarity. In order to issue a token, your legal counsel has to sign off on it. And there's different opinions from different legal counsels. Why they're still figuring that out, points offer them the ability to engage the market and, you know, get users, add liquidity into their systems without having to issue a token. Exactly what we were just saying. Yeah, I was, I, as you were talking through that, David, I was just picturing in my, my head, you, you remember when uh, Richie Torres asked uh, Gary Gensler if right. Pokemon cards were a security, right? I have, the like, same, I have the same image. I know exactly where dude, you're going. For every single asset class that we are kind of tokenizing, it's going to be the same sort of discussion. I can, yeah. I can picture Richie Torres asking Gary Gensler, are airline... Uh, Miles, a security, Gary Gensler, during the next cycle, as there's some conversation and and Gary tries to make points uh, like definitively a security, right? It's like, we're going to have this debate for every single thing that we want to tokenize because Mm -hmm. some regulator is going to say, tokenization, nope, that's mine. That's my area. That's my jurisdiction. I want to regulate that. What do you think the odds are that Gary Gensler and the SEC goes after some crypto protocol for issuing points. I think it's a lot harder to do that. I think it's I think much it's a lot harder. harder to do that. I think they still will. 
oh, I think they very well could, right? It's just like they'll they'll try to argue that points are just a stepping stone to these right. securities. It's a, ga- it's a, it's a gateway, to, security gateway right? drug. <laughs> exactly, but but like the further steps removed, the the more and more like I think specious their arguments uh-huh. will become, and I would right. love for them to kind It'll, of defend that. Point. I, I can I sell, would it's, love. I would love to see Gary Gensler try to say points are security. Yeah, I would love like, for well, him to say that. Well, it, well, you're you're using it to speculate. Well, like I mean, I could speculate on airline miles if I want. It'd right. be shitty speculation, yeah, yeah. but I could go do yeah. that. And apparently, it's not illegal to go trade in separate, uh, in, except in Utah, uh, in like <laughs> secondaries, right? So there, there's there's a market for that. So I I think that um, if we're if we're talking about this from a you know crypto you know founder perspective mm-hmm. and and you're a crypto project, ask ask Americans. Like there's been enough airdrops that it's just like you can't receive them because you're located in the US, right? right? So like, sorry, right. you don't get the airdrop. American listeners, would you rather have points or nothing? Because that's right. kind of like where we are right now. And I think the answer for for most crypto users, is, okay, give me points. That feels good. Points. Now, yeah. now, hopefully it's kind of like, there's some social commitment there. And hopefully these projects honor that in some way. Like there is a big bet that these points will become valuable uh, mm-hmm. over time as proxies for tokens or as some sort of like for some sort of utility inside of the ecosystem itself, but that's not guaranteed. And so right. we might yet, and we are going to get ahead of our skis on this. There will be some pro- mm-hmm. and major disappointments, I think in the points, uh, you know, landscape because points don't have all of the guarantees that tokens do, do they, David? In fact, they have zero guarantees. They have zero investor protections. <laughs> tokens already have pretty poor investor protections. And points have absolutely zero. But this is go back to what we were saying at the beginning. Points are a right to issue a token, but not an obligation to issue a token by the point issuing teams, not by users. So users are going to be subject to the choice of a point issuer about whether they want to uh, elect to have that right exercised to issue a token off the backs of points. And this is a shift in power towards development teams uh, it's a choice that they have and it's protection for them, which I think is good. Like, let's protect developers over, like, if we have to choose between these two parties, let's protect developers over users because the developers are the ones building the things in the first place that the users are using. And so they need to be legally protected the most because they're the thing, they're the people building this whole thing. What do you think about that? I, yeah, like, uh, let me, let me give my take. I, th- I think like you could say it's good, but like I would, I would more um, frame it as kind of a trade off because there's, there's good parts about it and there's bad parts right. about it. I mean, if I'm talking about kind of the, the bad parts, um, I, I put out this uh, kind of long tweet that basically said what's happening is uh, the SEC and Congress through inaction are basically boiling the actual utility out of tokens and they're leaving all of the speculation. This mm. is a point that Chris Dixon made on our episode earlier this week, I- David. He's just like, Here's what's so asinine about our current regulatory environment in the U.S. is like they are making it such that all we get is useless futility tokens, right? right? Useless governance tokens. All we get are meme tokens. Like all we get as investors inside of this ecosystem of crypto projects are like points, right? What we actually want are tokens that have some sort of governance guarantee, right. that have right. some right to Investor treasury. protections. Tokens yeah. that look a bit more like equities. They have cash flows mm-hmm. that you can realize on chain. And the the insidious trap here, like I, the, I, the bear case for this, for, for points, is basically they are trying to wall off all of our tokens and make them like shitty. And then they go and they go and they complain about the crypto casino, right? right. And they're like, it's just speculation. It's just a casino. And we're looking at it was like, yeah, you forced us into not being able to do like cash flows right. on chain, no governance votes. And you forced us into like points and memes. Right. right. So that's all speculation. And you're boiling the actual utility out of this asset class. So in some ways, I'm I'm a little bit sad that we're at the points stage. At least that's one way of, of looking at it. Like uh, they're just putting up unnecessary speed bumps. And you're right. We have less investor protections in a points paradigm versus a token paradigm. We have no governance rights, no right to kind of participate. So I worry about that, right? I worry about it's it's back to the same old story. If only accredited investors get asset to, to get access right. to the true investor protections. You got to be rich in order right. to, to, to get actual tokens. And that's yeah. not right. Yeah, that, that's not ideal. And there are going to be examples of projects that like, uh, 
leverage that in the worst possible ways. Um, but then also at the same time, th like there are going to be some projects that like I mean, all, all people who are all users who are farming points and capturing points are putting trust into the protocols that they're farming the points of in some particular way. Like they're giving up their opportunity costs of their ether or their stables or their whatever into that one particular DeFi app because they want those points. And the points, again, is a right but not an obligation to issue a token and also issue a token in a fair way that the users feel that they are relatively fairly compensated for for their opportunity costs. And that will be just completely up to the development team. And, and, and so like user rights are like totally foregone. And some of the, the better development teams will uh, respect the trust that they've been given by uh, point farmers and others will actually be leveraging it. Some people probably have spun up a points program just willy nilly without actually thinking about like the long term consequences of that without perhaps even thinking about issuing a token on the backs of that because they want the activity. They want the users. Perhaps it was do or die for them. They needed that. Uh, and so there's a little bit of a tragedy of the commons here, but that actually doesn't actually stop. Uh, you know, good, strong, uh, high integrity teams from actually following through on like the soft commitment of issuing a f token fairly based off of points. No, I, I get that. My only worry is what if what if regulators prevent them from from making this step? Like another way to to put this for me is like retail deserves tokens, not just points. Mm -hmm. So I like points, but only insofar as they are a stepping stone to something more powerful for for uh, right. retail, which is tokens. And I think in in the final form a perfect like DeFi protocol for me uh, has a token that uh, provides a guarantee to on-chain cash flows, right? Mm -hmm. And that is kind of like the equity side of this. They might also have points, right? That are just like in-app usage, kind of like the right. airline mile equivalents. Like you have two asset classes, one that are just like points. They're just mm -hmm. uh, for users. They're not right. somebody who's seriously investing in the protocol, and then you might you would also have these investable assets, which are like on chain tokens, mm. and that is what I hope is the final form. I just worry that regulators are going to kind of put some roadblock in. Like I worry that we won't go the blur route if we get stuck on just points right. and we don't get the tokens. Then uh, to me, that is a, a failure, or at least a speed bump for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely see that. Um, it's also, I think worth noting that there's been this conversation in the crypto space for as long as I've been in this crypto space, 2017, uh, using the words regulatory sandbox. And that just means that like, hey, let's give founders and developers, you know, company leaders, CEOs, a sort of um, trial period, uh, some sort of like, you know, sandbox where they can experiment and tinker with their tokens before they have to answer to some sort of like regulation about that token. So I think it was some proposals, no no actual proposal has actually made it through Congress, but like proposals have uh, advocated for like somewhere between like two and four years of this like regulatory sandbox where if you are constraining your behaviors in a particular way, and you're not being like shilly or scammy or like fraudulent, then you can issue a token and it won't be subject to SEC regulations. Uh, and then at the end of four years, it will be. And it's all this like trial period of just like, can you, you have four years basically to decentralize. And I think this is what the points system is really doing for teams is they're allowing to build up users and building up users is extremely necessary to actually getting to the point of decentralization. Because if you don't have a point system, but then you issue your token and you only issue your token to like your seven users, well, then you're not decentralized. And so it's allowing apps to build up a foundation to actually get to the point of decentralization, which will be the issuance of a real token. And hopefully that issuance of a real token comes at a time in which the team has built up enough of a foundation of community ownership, community participation, like um, hardness of the protocol, that the, the whole system is ready for a token, it's ready to decentralize the system. And I think points are just like the answer to the lack of a regulatory sandbox that we've been asking for, for like, you know, eight years in crypto now. If you enjoyed all of that, then you'll absolutely love the Bankless newsletter. Join over 300,000 fellow readers, all for free. Click below to sign up.